In this section, we'll be using D3 to build hierarchical charts. In this video, we will use D3 to convert a flat dataset to a hierarchical dataset. We will start by introducing a flat dataset into our project. We will then introduce a prepare data function that converts the data from a flat dataset into a hierarchical dataset. So let's get to it. Here's the flat dataset we are working with. This has two columns. The first is an ID column. This is the name of each item we will be working with. The second column is the parent column. Parent column has important characteristics. If there is data in the parent column, it must be the reference of another column's ID. In this case, the grandparents not only are the parent of the circled row, but they are also the ID of another row. This link between the parent value and an ID value is how D3 knows how to convert this flat data set into a hierarchical data set. Now let's work with a prepared data function to convert this flat data into hierarchical data using D3. Here is the prepared data function from our previous video. I'm going to remove the functions within the CSV call. We will start in our index file and use D3 to call the treeData.csv file. TreeData is the name that I've given to this data file. In this case, we will add two parameters to the prepare data function parameters. One as an ID. The next parameter we will add is the parent column and what the name of the parent column is. In this case, the parent column is parent. Here is a basic framework for a prepared data function. In this case, we have to update the parameters. It takes a source string. It will also take an ID key and a parent key. The first thing we're going to do is what D3 calls stratify the data. We use D3's stratify method. This method comes with options to set the ID and to set the parent ID. Here we've set the ID using the ID key and we've set the parent ID using the parent key. We pass the result of the data to this D3 stratify function. Let's look at what this data looks like in our console. Here is a snapshot of what that data looks like. This takes our data, sets a parent ID of sorts, assigns children to that parent, and connects the data. A few details that are important in using D3's stratify function are that in the new data format there is a depth and a height. In this case the grandparents element is now our parent element. This has no parents above it. When we look at its children there are four children and each child has a new depth and a new height. The parent height was at two, the child element is at one. If we look at a child below that, the height is at zero. The depth is reversed. The grandparent depth is at zero, its child depth is at one, and that child's depth is at two. These are helpful stratification keys that D3 adds to the data.